While as mentioned earlier, abortion played a prominent role in last night's vice presidential debate. Republican J.D. Vance and Democrat Tim Walz sparred over whether abortion is a federal or state issue. Minnesota Governor Walz defended a 2023 bill he signed establishing that every person in the state has the right to an abortion. State law also permits abortion through the ninth month of pregnancy. Meantime, Vance said that he and Donald Trump support fertility treatments, a practice the church says is immoral. Bad for analysis, we turn now to Sean Carney, CEO and president of the Pro-Life 40 Days for Life. Sean, great to have you back on, my friend. Uh, on social media last night, I know you posted uh, J.D. Vance struck out on abortion in three games, then hit a grand slam. Tell us what you meant by that. Yeah, I was trying to use the baseball analogy since it's baseball playoff time. But yeah, he just botched abortion uh, going through it. Uh, he sort of verified this woman that had an abortion and claimed uh, that it was one of the best decisions of her life, uh, something we know women use to cover up from the post-abortive women who have shared their testimonies. Uh, he just went on and on and on and missed so many talking points. And then at the end, he did hit a grand slam by finally pointing out uh, what Roe did and, and allowed and what uh, Walt promoted uh, in Minnesota, which is abortion through all nine months. And, and no help for babies who survive an abortion. In fact, there was a requirement in Minnesota that the doctors had to report those deaths. When a baby survived an abortion and no medical help was given, they would die and have to report it. Waltz removed the requirement to report those deaths. So uh, not only does he support that, um, he, he, he loosened the belt on it so the doctors didn't have to report it. Wow, Sean, is there some daylight uh, between President Trump and his running mate on abortion? I think so. I mean, in the end, Trump is, is by record, the most pro-life president ever. I know he's frustrated a lot of people, including myself in the pro-life movement, because he's been all over the place. Uh, but everything will be on the table for him. Uh, particularly, we'll see what happens with the Senate and with Congress. I do think there is a there is a world where Donald Trump is president and you can get a lot of pro-life legislation. I, I think it's way premature uh, and unwise to lose hope on that. I think that you could get a lot of pro-life stuff done with him as president, and, and his first four years showed that. Uh, talking points-wise, he has gotten bad advice and taken it, and, and, and it's hurt him. And, and that virus certainly invaded Vance uh, last night on the debate stage. All right. And, and how did uh, J.D. Vance, how did he respond to Wallace's, Wallace's comments? And let's talk about his comments about abortion. Well, I think his comments were, were good. He called Waltz out, and when Waltz basically denied his own legislation, uh, which is which is false. I mean, Vance isn't making this up, and it's on the Internet. I mean, everybody fact-checked it, and you just saw that he did support abortion through all 40 weeks. And, and I think that the other thing that a lot of Republicans can add is when they say, no, I don't, we'll say, why not? You know, if you need an abortion, you need an abortion. What's wrong with an abortion at 40 weeks? And if you're not for it at 40, when are when's the regulation for you and just get them to answer that yeah Sean, let's also talk about um trump advances support for fertility treatments as we mentioned of course we know the catholic church is against them and calls them immoral and, and as we know vance is a catholic convert so uh help us sort all this out yeah, I mean, he's wrong on that. This is where it's just awesome being Catholic because we just we we just stand up to so much of the attacks uh, on the on the you know humanity of the baby and the dignity of the human person. There's nothing more consistent on moral teaching than the Catholic Church. We should be proud in moments like that. Although we're not proud when we see our fellow Catholics bail on church teaching, which many of them have done on IVF, and certainly mo all politicians are for IVF. It does create an opportunity though to educate. You know, we've written books and done podcasts on, on IVF, and it's amazing how many Catholics either didn't know what the church taught, which is probably the case with Vance, um, but, but particularly how many of our Protestant brothers and sisters, I know at 40 Days for Life, we get a lot of positive feedback on, on our communications on IVF, on people going, that makes sense to me. You know, I've never heard this before. So I do think it's an opportunity for evangelization. All right. And we're going to leave it right there. Sean, great to be with you, my friend. God bless you. Thank you.